Okay, I'm gonna jump in Mal's car. Mal's. Wait. Oh. Ah. Yeah. Down the car. Ow, 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 ow. I hope no one noticed it was already started up. Okay, off we go. Put it into dirt. Wait. Let's go. Off we go to get some uh, fish and chips. Okay, I go here a lot actually. Probably, um. Ooh. Maybe two times a week. The only thing is, they've got um, very odd uh, opening hours. Yeah, very odd opening hours. They, um. You know. I don't, I don't really know when they're open, they open at 1 o'clock, would you believe it? I, 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 don't, I can't work it out. Uh, it's only a little, um, oh, like a, um, what would you call it? Um, like a little street stall. Um, they've got really odd hours, they, they, they don't open till 1 o'clock, 1, uh, 1 p.m. To me, I, I don't know if I'd do that, I mean, that's when your main customers are there trying to get some lunch. And they serve lunch. You want me to go, yeah, she just wants me to go around, isn't that nice? This guy came from Yes, welcome to Thailand. Look at the bikes, check this out. Ah, oh, check out these bikes, Where? This is unbelievable. Uh, just They just park them anywhere. Yeah. All over the place. Okay, it's going up my street now. Yeah. Okay, I'll catch us when I get there. Oh, look, no traffic, we're cooking with gas. See that guy there? Just past me, isn't that nice? Yeah, how much room did he have? No oh, well. Probably in a hurry. You get people like that in Thailand. Sometimes they're in a hurry, but you gotta understand that, you know. Isn't everybody in a hurry though? Yeah. An idiot. Gonna have one of those days, I think. Guys pulling out in front of you and. Yeah. I can't believe that. I, I mean, you, you're talking feet, like like a couple of feet or meters, if you like, about a meter for him having a, a full-on accident, um, and just to risk that, just to get like, where'd he go? There he is. There. Right, he's turning left here. So he's zoomed past me just to turn left. You idiot. Yeah. I understand it sometimes. Never mind. Welcome to Thailand. Okay, we'll see if our fish guys open. If not, it's gonna have to be chicken again. I feel like chicken again. Can to stop singing in this thing? Oh, not much open today. Yeah, just park out the front here somewhere if I can. Hmm. I think you're allowed to park here. What's the time? Oh, not many cars. Oh well. Spooky, no traffic. Hmm. Maybe something's happened. Yeah, this is my hut near market. I'll go and check it out. Get some, uh, get some fish. Yeah, we'll get some nice piece of fish at my hut near market. It's going to be good. This is uh, Mahatmi Market. We're at KNR Luso State. Luso in Thai means low class. So I don't know why you'd call a restaurant that, but uh, the food is great value for money. Mm. Menu is not too bad, 49 baht. It's a chicken steak, I think. Yeah, they haven't got uh, English. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Very nice. Kenana Loso steak. Yeah, just in the local market. Um, there's lots of these around. She does really good steaks. I don't really get all the steaks, so I usually get the fish. Fish is not bad. It's good. Not around the market all the I suppose. Talk to you about um, losing your card in Thailand. Don't do it. Yeah, be very careful with your cards in Thailand. Uh, I'm not for getting them pinched or anything. Um, I'm knocked off. 
Ah, it's leaving them in teller machines. Um, it's pretty bad. I went to the Corsican bank the other day and put my card in. Yeah. So anyway, so I went to put the card in. And, um, I know Mal was talking about something. I lost concentration. So I um, walked off and left the card there. So I've lost the card. Straight in the car. So uh, I'm going to the street and say, oh, the machine's taken the card. Yeah, ring this number. So we go home and uh, ring the number. Mal was on the phone for 40 minutes on hold. Uh, so she hung up. Uh, I ran back one hour on the phone, on hold. So uh, they said they wouldn't check it. It was on a Friday, I think, and they said they wouldn't check it till a Tuesday. So there was plenty of time. So I think about Sunday, Monday, she rang up and said, um, uh, Corsican Bank and asked, uh, so I told them that, uh, ring the Corsican Bank and told them that, that I'd lost my card. Now, now um, they said, okay, uh, can we speak to uh, Stephen Clark? So they put me on, they asked me all these questions. I said, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, we cut it in half. So if you lose your card at uh, Corsican Bank or it takes your card, they don't give you, you can't, cannot contact them to tell them it's in there. And um, they'll cut the card up. So if you're from overseas, you're going to get your card cut up. Uh, the banks destroy them straight away. Not straight away, they give you a couple of days to pick it up, but you can't contact the bank to tell them that uh, your card's in there. The actual bank branch, if, if it's a bank, bank branch, will not get it out of the machine, okay? These guys go around and service it. The same with 7-Eleven or wherever, uh, Tusco Lotus or Big C. Guys go around and service that. They cannot, uh, the, the uh, bank cannot open them. They probably can, but they're not going to open it for you. So, if you're, from, if you're from overseas and you lose um, uh, your card in one of these banks, they'll cut it up straight away. So you could very well be stuck in Thailand with no money, no cash, and they don't care. They just cut it up. You know, um, it's crazy. It's why in Thailand. I did actually get one back in, oh, probably about five years ago. I went to the bank and demanded it back. You know. um, they brought some guys out and got it out. Um, yeah. So, you put your card in, you don't forget to take it, um, you're going to lose it. You're very well enough here with no, no, no access to cash. Yeah. So make sure you bring, if it comes to time, make sure you bring two cards. One for spare and you'll lose it. Make sure you've got enough cash to get home with. Yeah. Doesn't matter, does it, really? Uh, got that money in there in the first place, don't you? I need to get my money out of my bank. I've lost my card now. I'm sitting here with about 200 baht. Yeah, 200 baht. Yeah, I had to transfer all my money into someone else's account. Ned, yeah, country somewhere, and they're coming back to give me some money. So I transferred it until I get me uh, cards from Australia. So now, because they cut them in half here at the Corsican Bank, I like that. This out for 69 baht. Unbelievable. I'll tell you what, this is excellent value for money, this, this fish and chips. I actually bring my own vinegar. And they've even got the French fries correct. Really nice. I'll tell you what, if you're into fish and chips, this is the place to come. And um Bring your own vinegar, because Thais aren't not into vinegar. Tell you what, 69 baht, you cannot go wrong with this.
ไม่คือไม่ได้ไม่คือแล้วมันจะเป็นยังไงไม่เป็นอะไรซีเวย์ชุดเด็ดโอ้โหแต่นี่ก็เป็นแบบนี้มาสิได้ที่บิ๊ก69บาท70บาท don't know what that is in Australian dollars Right, it was 163 baht. That was two meals and a um, and a, Coca, a bottle of Coca Cola. Unbelievable! I don't know what that is in US dollars. I'll work it out when I get home. Yeah, very good uh, value for money eating in Thailand. Yeah, there's the market there. Isn't that exciting? <coughs> See all these cars here. Most of them are the shopkeepers, okay? It goes right, right around the little market. And they wonder why they don't get any customers. They won't let anybody park here. Crazy. I, 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 can't, I can't understand it sometimes. You know, um, if you've got limited car space, I mean, leave it for your customers. Don't park your car there. It's just my little wind show today. Mahatmi Market's pretty good. It's, it's, a, it's a very small one. Um, it's got most of the things there you want when you want to go to macro. But I mean, um, Mal was telling me that um, most of the market people they shop at macro anyway, so you, I don't know. I don't know. Surely she's going down to um, she got Phuket with her girlfriend for a couple of days. Left me behind. <laughs> Jack, she went down there for work. She worked. She had to go down there for work. Yeah. Oh, I go with her most of the time, but sometimes it's just not, not economical to do it. Did you know that? Oh, the vinegar I use. I, I tipped a bottle of vin um, a bottle of vinegar on it. Okay, us English and I know New Zealanders and whatever the fish and chip people. Um, we like vinegar on our fish and chips. Um, you can buy vinegar at 7-Eleven, put it in a little bottle and carry it around with you if you really want it. I do. Um, it's also in those little bottles of, um, you see them, they've got their little hot peppers in them. They're in most restaurants. Well, they soak them in vinegar, so you can get the vinegar out of that if you're, if you're at a restaurant. 
the, right on your table you've got vinegar. Most people don't know that because it looks really scary. With the hot chilies in there. Actually, the chilies not bad. Um, what do they call them in Mexico? Um, the green ones. Um, Calapinos. I think I'm not no, a Mexican expert. Wish I was. I love Mexican food. Sir. Tacos are all right. What place for cooking a taco? Yeah, well, nearly harm. Due to the security reason, this is not really my street. I always say it's my street, but it's not really my street. Yep. Oh, I'm not hard to find if you're looking for me. Uh, that's that's all for today. Just a quick one. I just want to wind you about the Corsican Bank and show you how to get fish and chips. Okay, that's about it. We'll pull up here. Oh, that wasn't too bad. I'm absolutely full. Didn't hit the sidewalk. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Ding. Ah. Mac and Charles broken. <laughs>